Singer. My brother was given a bass guitar by one of my dad's friends. And being that my dad was a musician before with Los Dinos, he knew how to play the guitar and sing, so he started teaching my brother. And being that I was a spoiled little brat, <laughs> he was getting all the attention, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go pick up something and try to, you know, learn on my own. So I went and got a book, and I started making up my own melodies with songs, you know, because I could read already. And my dad said, no, 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 mijita, he goes, try it like this. And he started teaching me, and I started picking up and when you're young and you have the timing already and you can remember memorize a melody or repeat a melody right after you hear it then you ha then you know there's a little bit of talent so my dad was like hey he saw dollar signs <laughs> so he started teaching me and my one of my cousins came down from Washington and he started playing the drums we just formed like a little family group and it wasn't really to make money we just did it for the fun of it and after a while, it was fun, and then you know how it is when you're kids, you want to go out and play, you want to be with your friends, and Dad, every day, would call us into practice for just 15 minutes a day, and we would scream and holler. I mean, we cried. No, we don't want to. Now we thank them, you know, because it paid off, but it's so funny now that I think back, you know. You're, you're a very, very good role model, and one of, the, uh, one of the problems with the Hispanic community, especially the teenagers, mm -hmm. the girls, is teen pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, what do you what do you have to say? I mean, everybody gets into situations that that it's hard to get out of, but I notice that the majority of them end up keeping their child and, and it makes good. it rough. Yes, Which it makes is good it rough. because I'm a, I'm against abortions. I don't think that it's right. You know, everybody's in, you know entitled to their opinion. Mm -hmm. But the way I was raised is it's kind of hard and, and it's very upsetting that you see people or especially politicians and I don't even I don't want to get into subject of politics but they encourage uh, kids to use condoms and I think the parents should encourage the children not to have sex before marriage because if you you know stop that right there then you're not gonna have teen pregnancy you need to teach your children's morals first before they get married and then children afterwards it should be marriage and then children afterwards but it does happen it's very sad to say but all we can all we can do is educate the children let them know what lies ahead if this happens and you know and try to educate them afterwards would there be a selena if there was a child right now earlier in life what do you mean as far as where you're at right now if I were to have a children, I mean a child, yeah, <laughs> children. Let's say if you were to have had a child in 10 years, would there have been? I don't think so. Because it's, like I said earlier, it's, it's a lifelong dedication. It's not just like you feed the baby, buy him diapers. You know, you have to be caring for the baby. Just as you have a, a puppy, you have to take care of that puppy. And I'm not, caring, you know, comparing a child to a puppy, but when they're, Babies, you have to look after them and care for them with, with a lot of love and, and look out for them and guide them. And it's it's a tough job. You wouldn't have time to do it. No, I wouldn't have time. And, and I'd have to be one heck of a woman to do that, juggle out marriage and a child and my job. When you're gone, how do you want to be remembered? As uh, not only as an entertainer, but as a person who, who cared a lot. Um, and I gave the best that I could. And I tried to be the best role model that I that I possibly could, and, and the best person that I could. I tried to help out. Well, I hope we can do this again one of these days soon. And like I said, you are a role model. Thank and, you. And we really appreciate thanks what you've done for the Tejano industry, and we're such a little present. Oh, thanks. And you I didn't know get about you the one. Lady Raiders. Here. No, 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 no. No. This no. is your interview. Really, I want you to have it. No, yeah. <laughs> Your interview is great enough. Thank see you. See the Lady Raiders. The Lady National Raiders, all right. Look. Can you see that? Cool. And red's my favorite color. Well, red we, and black. Well, we appreciate everything. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very Thanks. much.